Hey folks, this is phase four of my DIY bathroom remodel project. We're going to add the fluff and stuff. Stay tuned. Welcome to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is phase four, and I think this is part one of a two-part project that we're going to be doing. Part one of phase four is going to be installing, yeah, the racks, the paper, or the uh, toilet paper holders, uh, the art, yes, and then Part two, we're going to go ahead and cut all of the trim. So let's get started. Let's get these things measured out and start mounting things. Number one priority, we need to install the toilet paper dispenser. Okay, there's a, the toilet paper dispenser was previously installed here. So we're going to reinstall one. Okay, and these slide on, they have uh, little set screws into the bottom of them. This one right here. And... Oh! Okay, and this one right here. Yay! So it's installed. Now this bathroom never had a towel hook, but I'm going to install a towel hook right here. Okay, you got this bracket right here. I'm going to set this in place and uh, we'll set the mollies and then we'll put them in. Okay, this seems to be a good place for them. The mollies I'm using are these, they're self-tapping. And they go, they're beautiful for drywall. So we're gonna go. There's one. There's the other one. There's one screw. There's the other screw. And this hook comes with its own little Allen wrench because it's got the set screw under here that is actually an Allen. So we're gonna un we're gonna back that off and then we'll go ahead and attach it. There, that towel hook is now secure. It's right where I want it to be. Now I've got another towel hook, uh, this one right here. I'm gonna mount it right here. And we'll put this on. There. Cool. This next feature I want to uh, put over the toilet. Uh, 15, 7 and a half. So I need to. 13 inches over it is my center over the toilet. Now, this is a large towel rack 
for large towels and it's got a glass shelf on it. And I want to center it over the toilet. I need to make sure it's high enough above the toilet that the towels aren't going to drag on the toilet. So I think right about there-ish. So what's nice about this is they gave me a template. Yes, a template on which to uh, mark out where the holes go. So I'm going to find my center and position it where I want it and find the level and start my holes. Okay, let's find my center. Seventeen and three quarters is uh let's see eighteen, eighteen and nine. Nine is my center. Yeah, find my center. Yep, there's my center right there. Find my level. Make sure it's level. Mollies. I love these things. These are so easy to work with. Okay, don't need mollies there because that is a solid beam. Solid board behind there, which is advantageous to us. So, mark that one right there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Get to go ahead and mount this. I purchased these at Walmart. So if you guys are interested in finding these, yeah, Walmart. Better home and garden. Okay, I can put this up there. There, yeah. And I got a new faceplate here. My wife wanted uh, a certain style faceplate, so I went down and bought some for her. And uh, we're gonna try it on for size and see how it looks. in that woman good taste and now I've got my art that I've prepared specifically for this bathroom project in, in, in including on getting them in white frames and this is scratchboard art here is an example of me doing this this scratchboard art Hope you guys enjoyed that, but here is my very first scratch board art ever. Very first one. I love these. So I want to I want to arrange them on the wall right here, and so I'm going to center this picture between the coat hook and the tub. Okay, it's 45, 22 and a half is halfway. And let's bring it halfway between the top and the bottom thing right here, which is uh, 
56, 25, 26, 27, 28 inches right here. That's halfway between the two. So if I put it right here, and I put a nail right about there, and hang it up there. The other two pieces, I was going to stagger them like this. Yeah, it's kind of what I wanted. Or maybe I can go like this. No, I want them like this. So I do equal distance either way, equal distance up, equal distance down, about, about like that. My scratch board art gallery. And if I don't like that, I'll just change it up and uh, do something different. I have another piece I need to put up over here. And now I got the new doorknobs, handles. I gotta put those on. Okay, put them on the cabinets. And the drawers. Okay, we're winding down uh, this episode. I just have the safety bars to install. We've got three of them. I'm installing one here and two inside the shower. And uh, I've got that board right here, so it's going to be nice and stable and secure when we mount it right here. You've got many hole options on which to secure it with these long screws. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this. supposed to go and they pop into place there that's secured to the wall attach one right here yep right there chair for mom and we'll set this in place and now the shower is complete and ready to go yes 
With the safety bar features uh, installed, uh, that was the final piece needed for the whole bathroom. Uh, the next phase, or the next part of phase four, is to install all the trim. I've got crown molding, I've got this uh, molding that goes across here, the uh, floor molding, and I also got to do door casing, and then we're going to be caulking and sealing, and I've got a strip to go along the bottom of the tub. So those come in the final episode. Stay tuned for that one. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this epic adventure of the DIY Homestead Bathroom Remodel Project in uh, upgrading the tub shower system to a walk-in shower, making it easier for my mother-in-law. And also just painting it, add the ceiling features, new flooring, new toilet, new countertop, uh, update on the vanity, and then adding my art. Yeah, it's come together. Please subscribe. Click that bell icon. That'll let you to new videos as I do upload them. Give us a thumbs up, like the show, and share my videos on your social media platforms. Helps us out also. Hey, if you guys would, leave a comment or a tip or a question, and I'll try to get back to you guys in a timely manner. I thank you guys for hanging out with me. We'll see you in the next episode. Be safe. Always be kind. Bye-bye now.